fauna, flora, fungi, and other forms of life are collectively known as biota. Fauna is described as the animal life of a particular area or region, named after fauna, the Roman goddess of earth and fertility, and flora is the plant life of a particular area or region, named after flora, the Roman goddess of flowering plants. The largest seed of a plant on earth is that of the coco de mer palm tree, whereas the coconut is the second largest. Palms are perennial flowering plants with many forms like vines and shrubs. Some are shaped like a tree with a woody stem and leaves which we know as palm trees. Papyrus, or Nile grass, is an aquatic flowering plant native to the Nile Delta of Africa. It is the source of papyrus paper one of the first type of paper used notably by ancient Egyptians. Earlier to that the most common surface for writing was parchment, made from animal skins. Herbs and spices are consumed for macronutrients and are used for flavoring food with aromatic and savory properties. Herbs generally refers to the leafy green or flowering parts of a plant, whereas spices are produced from other parts of the plant like seeds, bark, roots, and fruits. Visid, which means thick and sticky, derives from the Latin word for mistletoe, viscum. The mistletoe berries were used to make an adhesive paste which was smeared on branches of trees to entice and entrap birds. Teak wood is a hardwood tree native to Southeast Asia, mainly Myanmar and Thailand. It is the preferred medium for outdoor furniture and construction due to its weather-resistant properties as well as its natural oils being termite and pest-resistant. Sap in a plant consists of two types, the xylem and phloem. The xylem is the watery solution of minerals and other nutrients which moves from roots towards the leaves. The phloem sap consists primarily of sugars, it moves from where sugars are produced to the parts of the plant where sugar is used. Cranberries are low creeping vines, which are initially green but turns red when ripe. They have four air pockets which allows them to float and also to bounce. Farmers use this feature to determine the ripeness of the berry. The bounce means they are nice and firm. Wisteria is a genus of flowering plants in the legume family. They climb by twining their stems around any available support. The Japanese wisteria twines clockwise whilst the Chinese wisteria twines counter-clockwise. The world's largest known wisteria is more than one acre in area weighing 250 tons. Rainforests and jungle are different. Rainforests are characterized by a closed and continuous canopy of trees with the ground below clear of vegetation due to lack of sunlight. Jungle is land covered by dense forest and vegetation. Tropical rainforests are called world's largest pharmacy, as over 25% of natural medicines were discovered in the rainforests. Cardamom are seeds of plants native to the Indian subcontinent, used as flavoring and spices in food, drink and medicine. The plants were introduced in Guatemala by German planter cloth and today Guatemala is the largest producer and exporter in the world. It is the third costliest spice in the world by weight, after saffron and vanilla. Calabash, bottle gourd is a vine grown for its fruit. It can be consumed as a vegetable or used as a utensil, container or musical instrument. 
It is the world's first plant cultivated not only to be consumed as a food but also to be used as a container for storage, smoking pipe and as an equipment for enema. Bamboo plant is the fastest growing grass in the world, with a growth of nearly 36 inches in 24 hours. Bamboo shoots are used in many Asian cuisines and it comprises nearly 99% of a panda's diet. Other uses of bamboo consist of fabrics, musical instruments, furniture, construction, etc. Oleander is a beautiful flowering shrub used as an ornamental and landscaping plant. It is considered a poisonous plant because it contains compounds like oleandrin, which is toxic especially to animals when ingested in large amounts. In humans, it can affect the gastrointestinal, cardiovascular and central nervous systems. Arboriculture is the study of individual trees, shrubs, vines, which looks after the health and cultivation of stand-alone trees and plants rather than forestry which looks after the welfare of the entire forest biome. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.